been a whole week since I last filmed but this week has just absolutely flown by lots of stuff in the pipeline I've got lots and lots of collaborations lined up all the way up to Christmas so I am super super buzzing right now as you know we started our supermarket chic last week with two at Sainsbury's what a selection of clothing this is what we've got to remember when we're doing our battle of the supermarket chic these are places people go to get their groceries where we all go to get our groceries but now you can pick up on trend good quality and amazing value clothing which is just well as you know I love a supermarket haul this week as you know because you clicked on the link we are doing George at Asda we are going to crack on with this shortly I'm just going to tell you a few um, exciting little things just so you know what's coming up over the next few weeks and up towards Christmas so obviously after today's we've still got Florence and Fred at Tesco's that will be put back to the week after next because next week Peacocks are having a 20% off sale and I'm going to be showing you everything next Friday what is going to be in their sale 20% off uh, so I cannot wait to show you that that's next week then obviously following peacocks we go back to Tesco's which will complete our battle of the supermarket chic hauls that same week I'm putting out two videos if you haven't heard of unique 21 I'll pop a little screenshot here out out glitzy glamour we're looking into the party season so that week we'll also see uh, unique 21 then after that we are back at peacocks because Louise Redknapp is launching her new party edit so you will be seeing that on the 10th of November the following week we're going to be going to High Street Outlet Clothing. I know you love a High Street Outlet Clothing haul. Um, and then following that, we're going back into Peacocks for Black Friday, which will be more, my goodness, more than 20% off, so I've heard. Intermingled with those collaborations, we have W7, Abbott Leon, Look Fantastic. We've got a collection of advent calendars. Other companies that I'm talking to at the moment, P. Louise. P. Louise is a makeup brand, and oh my goodness, it's incredible. So if I manage to get that agreed, we will do a P. Louise makeup review which will probably send me over the edge quite frankly um, then we also have bridal wear wedding dresses guest dresses bridesmaids dresses so if you are getting married or you know somebody getting married that could be the week to keep your eyes open and I'll be doing lots and lots of giveaways on the lead up to Christmas including advent calendars first one will be the W7 advent calendar and potentially I may be giving away the mystery box as well so it is a collection of items you don't know what's in the box they've sent it to me and I will gift it out to you um, and then last but not least I have been uploading some rather disturbing makeup videos on the lead up to Halloween so if you are looking for some inspiration for Halloween makeup then definitely check out my Instagram or my TikTok um, because there's lots and lots of ideas on there right today's collaboration is our number two this week we are collaborating with a candle company could I be more excited if you know me on a personal level you would know that I love a candle. Any time of the year, spring, summer, autumn, winter, I love a candle. This company is based in the UK. And like I've said about these small business collaborations, this is what I'm wanting to focus on. Businesses based in the UK, making products in the UK and with a real passion for what they do. The company is called The Classic Candle Company. God, try saying that after a few. And they launched in 2015 with 24 fragrances. Today, they have over 200 different scents, smells, fragrances. And I'm not joking, even as I stand here, the smell coming from this box is absolutely incredible. Every single candle is poured and finished in their workshop on the Suffolk coast in the UK, which is a huge thing to celebrate. And if there is a Made in England sticker, I'm going to pop it right here. Being a candle lover, and I have bought many, many candles and had many candles over the years, it's one thing being an attractive candle, and it's another thing smelling like an attractive candle. I don't know if you've ever experienced this. You've spent a fortune on a candle. It looks amazing. Great brand. Stick it on my table and it smells like nothing. So what I've actually done in order to test it out and they didn't ask me to do this but you know I need to give you my honest opinion. This one has been lit for nearly three hours.
hours now and this entire studio smells like soothing cinnamon. It's just Christmas in a jar, quite frankly. So this is the largest of the candle jars that they do and they burn for 100 hours. And these ladies come in at 25 pounds. However, I have a discount code. Of course I do. I have a discount code that gets you 10 pounds off any order over 25 pounds. What I showed you there in the soothing cinnamon, that was with the two wick and that is in the large jar. They do the medium jar, which I believe is this size. And they sent this to me in black incense and clementine. And honestly, again, another just super, super Christmassy smell. Ugh, I mean, it's exactly what it says on the front. These come in at £17.50 and you get 70 hours of burn time. Then you've got the wax melts. Now they've sent me an entire box of all of the fragrances for Christmas. I am gonna rewind in a minute and go to Halloween because they have some incredible Halloween candles as well. I need to show you those. If you like your wax melts, this is the place to go for wax melts. My goodness, there's 148 different fragrances in the wax melts. You get six in a pack and they come in at four pounds 50, so not a bad price at all. Then you have, ladies, the mini pots. They come in at 199. They're basically a larger wax melt. You pop it out, so I think it's fairly simple. There we go, so it comes out like that. You pop it into your wax burner like so, upside down, whichever way. Pop a little tea light in the bottom and it will slowly melt. If you haven't done this before, it is actually a really beautiful way of getting the aroma around your room. They have actually sent me this. This is from their website, so I will link this down below as well. My gosh, what is that? That is absolutely incredible. This one is in Fireside. This is called Perfect Christmas. I'd happily burn that all through the year. Um, so there we go, it's 181 cents in the mini pots. And then ladies, you've got their mini lights, which actually burn inside the pots. These are £2.75 and they give you 12 hours of burn time. This one is in balsam and cedar. Oh my god, I just can't cope with all these smells. And you have one big wick like so. Like that, it burns for 12 hours. You don't need to put it on a heat proof mat. Perfectly fine to pop in the table and that will burn away for 12 hours. If you want it to burn away for 12 hours, you might want to light it a few times. This one is in winter warmer. Again, a 12 hour burner. That's basically mulled wine um, in a pot, in a burning pot. I really, really do wish this to smell of vision it doesn't quite work does it but um take my word for it they are strong strong fragrances and they burn smelly as well right those are all the products for crimbo but i need to show you their halloween collection this has literally just launched obviously because we are nearing halloween they've introduced three wicked fragrances specifically for halloween time we've got haunted house toffee apple and then we have pumpkin latte and this ladies is the one that they They've sent me. This arrived in a second batch and when I opened it, I didn't know what the fragrance was, but the first thing I smelt was a chai latte. I love a chai latte. It's basically autumn in a cup um, and it just reminded me of that. Then when I looked at the packaging, it's a pumpkin latte. They are so, so true to smell. So that is their pumpkin latte. This is in the two wick. It's $14.99. We also have the mini lights and the mini pots as well, which come in all of the different Halloween fragrances, which are these. <laughs> <laughs> Toffee apple, spiced pumpkin, haunted house. Let me smell haunted house. Oh, yes, it is. It's quite, quite masculine, that. Interesting. And pumpkin latte, which is what I have in the bigger candle. So those are the fragrances for Halloween. Like I said, ladies, you can get £10 off if you spend £25 or more. This house is going to be smelling good for the next few weeks. Right, ladies, are we ready for this George Atasta haul? I hope you are, because this may put Sainsbury's under a little bit of pressure. And that's all I'm going to say. Right, let's start off with accessories. You may be totally unaware of uh, Georgia Asda's new studio edit. This is supposed to be a collection of clothing and accessories without the Asda look. It's got a bit more je ne sais quoi. It's got a bit more elegance, a bit more class. I saw this and I was just, wow, what a stunning little kerchief. She's actually wearing it kind of just wrapped around, a little bit of detail around her neck over a black top. I mean, even over a little LBD, this is a little bit of a classic je ne sais quoi. 10 pounds this was, obviously one size. Hopefully I'm gonna style up the items in this haul with it. 
I think I've actually seen a pair of shoes really in Asda in George that I absolutely love. These are so on trend. Hello. Look at those bad boys. So we've got the chunky ankle boots. It's also got a bit of a Chelsea boot vibe as well. But the colour, so, so on trend. You can't go wrong with a bit of beige. These come in, ladies, at £26. So not a bad price at all. Obviously, it's labelled as vegan, basically non-leather. And they're in a UK 4, obviously, because I am a UK 4. They are supposed to be pull-on sock boots. Okay, so this top bit is quite flexy. It's kind of floppy and it's supposed to be like a sock. Uh, so they call them sock boots. But actually, that's quite nice because you've got a little bit more kind of give around there. You can get them in this colour and you can get them in a, a black faux leather as well. £26, which I don't think is a bad price at all. Right, believe it or not, this is so unlike me. I don't even know how this happened, but I've ordered three pairs of jeans in this haul. Maybe I'm softening up to the jean. The shape of these just looked absolutely spot on to me. So they're high-waisted, which is a massive tick for me. They are mum jeans, and I do like a mum jean, as long as they're not too baggy on the leg, and these are not. Now, looking at the leg, they do look quite short. They do look short, and they look, oh my gosh, this is the crotch, and then the jean comes up to there. I don't know, I have no idea how these are going to sit, but you never know, I might have just absolutely stumbled on the perfect fitting mum jean. Um, these come in at 17 pounds, ladies. I bought them in a 10, very, very soft. They've got a little bit of stretch as well. So I don't know, I'm thinking this with an ice cream roll neck and depending on the length, maybe some chunky boots at the bottom, just that kind of very cash vibe. I'm hoping I'm liking these on the split screen. So 17 pounds for these and I'm wearing them in a UK 10. Right, this did not register when I ordered these, but they are exactly the same cut. So obviously I did like them. Again, I got them in a UK 10. I'm not being funny, ladies, but the color is spot on, the stretch, and they are very, very soft. The woman on the website as well looks fab. I mean, she's probably about six foot tall. I don't think there'll be that much ankle when they're on me, but I love the way that she's wearing them with some heels. So it has more of a going out vibe as well. So I guess if you find a pair of jeans that you really like, then you want to wear them everywhere. Love the vibe. 17 pounds again. They are high-waisted. I'm wearing them in a UK 10 and they are the Miley jeans, as were the grey ones, and they come in at 17 pounds. Jeans number three, the wide leg jeans. So obviously wide leg jeans are massively in at the moment and these look absolutely awesome on the website. I've said this before though, haven't I, about George. They are extremely good with their denim. In fact, I think that's what they do best. Each supermarket I find has their niche and Asda, I think their niche is denim. The girl on the website, I mean, she's, she looks tall. She's either very, very slim and fairly short or they are a good length. So I'm very, very excited to find out. Just pop it up against my waist. They are a good length, which is so refreshing these days because leg lengths I'm really struggling with. These come in at £22, so £5 more than the other jeans, but there is more to them. You've got the wide leg as well, and they are full length. So again, I have high hope for these as well. £22, um, and I'm wearing these in a UK 8. <laughs> so excited about this one. Asda, what are you doing? This, ladies, just looks like something you would buy from Marks and Spencers. Even the picture on the website, it looks like that should be on the Marks and Spencers website. This is an aviator gilet, and it is fleece-lined. If you like a gilet, as I do, walking the dog, it's chilly, you've got a warm body, and your arms are free to do as they need. The colour, it's neutral. Oh, I just think it just ticks so, so many boxes. £38. If this was in M&S or in Zara, you'd be paying up to £100 for this. What an absolute steal. I'm so tempted to try it on, but I know you'll be seeing it on me in the split screen. Hopefully with some of those jeans. If we turn it around, you can see, if I brush it, it has that faux suede effect as well. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, I'm absolutely in love. So I got this in a small, which I believe is an 8 to 10. The extra small would be a 6 to 8 and it goes up to an extra, extra large. I don't think you're going to see this in your store. I might be wrong. I would assume this is probably an online product, but yeah, amazing. In love, £38, and I'm wearing it in a UK small.
Oh, hello. This looks so, so cozy. I'm loving this kind of off-center pattern. The color combo is absolutely spot on for this season. And could we wear that over this? We absolutely could. If you are wearing skinny jeans or jeggings and you want something over your lady parts, then this length is just absolutely spot on. Uh, this comes in at 20 pounds. I am wearing this in the UK small, so an eight to a 10. They go up to an XXL as well, ladies. So worth bearing that in mind. They call this actually a tunic. I don't think I've heard the word tunic in a long time. In my eyes, it's a jumper. Doesn't scream Asda at all. Doesn't scream supermarket at all. A little bit like the gilet as well. So yeah, 20 pounds and I am wearing it in a UK small. This is so unbelievably amazing. So they have it in the sage green and they have it in the cream. Now these are leather look trench coats. So totally on trend with regards to the trench coat. It comes in at 55 pounds, which is just an incredible price for A, a trench coat and B, a faux leather trench coat. But the color is just so different. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. I'm absolutely in love with this. And, and I've just seen the label, it is machine washable. So you can stick this in your 40 degree wash. It's double breasted, so you've got the double buttons at the front. Big, big lapel. It's just such a gorgeous color. I don't think this is something you would find, like I said about the other piece, in the shop. I think this is gonna be an online exclusive. You don't get all trench coats with this flap or this panel at the back, and that's what really makes it a true trench coat, in my opinion. So I got this in a small, which is an eight to 10, and I believe it goes up to an XXL, which is a 22. It's giving you warmth, it's waterproof, it's washable, it's on trend, and it's cruelty free. So literally, tick, 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 tick. I'm wearing it in a small, which is an eight to 10, and it's 55 pounds. And I bet you didn't think I'd picked it up in this color. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you had to pin me down and demand my favorite one, I've got to say ladies, and you know that I love my winter whites. I do like bright colors and just, oh my God, how on trend is this? This is from Asda, Georgia Asda. This is just ridiculous. This is something that you would see in Zara, Mango, the higher end brands. Certainly wouldn't expect to see it in your supermarket. So yeah, amazing exactly the same design as the green one. You've got your waist belt. Love the colour coded buttons on this as well. And it's, do you know what? It's a really soft, floppy faux leather. They're getting so good at good faux leathers these days that honestly, I don't think I've actually had a bad one for a while. I didn't mention, but it has this strap detail with the button, uh, which also the green one did have as well. Again, very trench coat vibe. And again, on the back, you've got this panel. I've got to say, ladies, this is a keeper. Absolute keeper. So £55. That will take you through autumn, winter, and spring. I mean, can you imagine this over a nice floral spring dress, which actually I do have a dress later on, so I might try it out with that. But yeah, you've got that versatility, it being a neutral color. Very, very excited. Both of them just absolutely outstanding. I would never have thought that I'd be able to get a leather look trench coat from a supermarket, let alone Asda. So yes, absolutely buzzing for those. 55 pounds. Again, I got this one in an eight to 10, and I would go, 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 ladies. Seriously, these are gonna fly. I've just seen on the website that they do it in a black as well. So they do the cream, the green, and the black. The black, again, a totally different vibe. I'm a little bit blown away by those, I must admit. Right, next up, we have a jumper. Now this is from the G21 collection, which I think is for the younger crew. However, how far wrong can you go with a gray cardi? It is quite cropped, totally get that, but I've got this to wear with the high-waisted jeans and some other bits later, which will become apparent when you see them. Being cropped, this is gonna be great with high-waisted trousers, a nice high-waisted skirt, midi skirt, faux leather skirt. And I love the gray, it's a very fresh, clean, crisp gray. Nice long arms as well, and I don't know if you can see, but there is plenty of stretch in this as well. 18 pounds this, and it's from G21. Now I have just looked, apparently G21 isn't necessarily for the younger group, so apologies for me saying that. It's just more of a fashion forward thinking collection. So that probably is for the young ones then, isn't it? Anyway, um, so I would assume that I would probably wear a little vest under it uh, because it does look like it could be quite low. I mean, I don't know, you'll be seeing on the split screen. 18 pounds, I'm wearing it in an eight to 10. And again, another staple to your autumn wardrobe. Now, a little bit of color. 
know I like my pop of colour. We have a dress. This is new in, and why not? Why not have a new in bright floral dress for the autumn? This has a waist belt as well, which is what really drew me to it. Excuse the pun. Long sleeved, it's got a little v-neck, just a real punchy pattern, and the girl on the website looks absolutely fab in it. So I think with this, you could wear the cream trench over the top. That could be an autumn outfit, but it could equally be a spring outfit. Or funk it up in the day with my little short faux leather jacket from Peacocks. That would be really nice over it. Maybe some little white pumps. It is a midi length, uh, which is great. You could wear some black boots, heeled or flat. You know the drill. And you could pretty much do anything with this. I got this in a UK 8. So I was arming and arming about the 8 and the 10. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see. And it was £24. Not a bad price for a midi dress. It does have a waist belt, which is good. And it has shirring around the front, but not at the back. So just at the front. So it'll give you a little bit of extra room if you're going out for a big meal, but more so just to breathe because <laughs> that's quite useful sometimes. And I did notice that the sleeves look super long. So for me with my monkey arms, they should be perfect. So £24, this is brand new in and I am wearing that in a UK 8. Oh, firstly, this is an oatmeal ribbed bardo dress. Obviously, bardo being off the shoulder. The colour, absolutely spot on for this season. Okay, it's off the shoulder, but you wear a trench coat over it. You wear a little cropped faux leather jacket, which you've just seen. You wear a blazer over it. I mean, you're not always going to be outside. And also, autumn, there are warmer days. It's a midi length, though, so you're getting the length on the legs. It's a good heavy material as well, and it's ribbed. And it's actually a very, very good quality dress. It's actually better quality in real life than it looks on the website. So that's good. That's a good thing to know. So it was £22. Now this comes in sizes 6 to 24 and it also does come in a black as well. Again, I don't think we're going to see this in the shops. I think this is another online exclusive. Really, really lovely that. Again, something I just wouldn't expect to see in my supermarket. So yeah, very surprised. So I'm wearing it in a UK 10 um, and it's £22. Right, ladies, we have a skirt. So, so different to what what Georgia Asden normally produces. So I don't know, maybe they've got someone else on board. I'll do a little research and then if I have found anything out, I will stick it in the description box down below because very, very impressed, I've got to say. This is stunning. This is a piece I would absolutely wear with either a high neck black body, a high neck cream body or beige body, just to kind of bring these two colors in. But it is a pleated midi skirt and it is elasticated at the waist, which is so appealing. It comes in at 20 pounds and it's available in a 6 to a 24 so lots of sizes there and how lovely so you've still got the femininity you can wear a nice pair of heeled boots underneath cream or black and you could really smarten it up couldn't you a nice black body with a black blazer over the top I'm really looking forward to trying that on and potentially wearing it as well I just wanted to try the stretch and as you can see there is a lot of stretch which is fab and you know what this is one of those non-iron pieces so yeah a bit chuffed about that a lovely skirt £20 um, and I'm wearing that in a UK 8 Yet another cropped grey jumper, but actually I think I prefer this one. This is so unbelievably snuggy. It almost reminds me a little bit of when I used to do ballet as a child, you know, with the kind of crossover wrap cardi that you used to be given. This is absolutely a keeper for me. Again, over the high-waisted jeans. Really, really like that, and that is absolutely staying in my wardrobe. £18, that is. So having a look at this one, it was also £18. So if I just hold them up together, you'll kind of see the difference. This has more weight. It's definitely got a lot of stretch and it's much warmer. This is probably a little less substantial. So I would say you're probably going to get more bang for your buck with this one. But you might want a cardi. So yeah, love that. Very, very chuffed with this. I think this is going to be super warm. Will I need to wear anything underneath it? Maybe. Hopefully not. Maybe just a bra. It's super, super snuggy. So yeah, £18 and I'm wearing it in a size small. I know you've seen a lot of faux leather midi skirts recently, but I have to show you what George has in particular because they're really following the trends. This is definitely something I've noted. I like this skirt because it's different. It has a wrap detail around the front. I don't know if I open it up, you can see that. I'm assuming it's, you know, not going to expose too much leg, but I like that wrap effect and a little bit of gathering here. It could be quite a flattering skirt. I mean, she looks fab in the photos. Silly me, I think I've gone for the wrong size. I went for the eight, but I think I possibly should have gone for the 10, but I don't know. I mean, I haven't tried them on. You'll be seeing in the split screen, but again, with a faux leather skirt, 
sure you can do anything with it. Big chunky jumper, nice high neck body. Um, you could even wear a nice crisp white long sleeve top, a blazer, a jacket, a cardi, boots or heels if you are dressing it up. 18 pounds this is and I also did get it in the oxblood. Now, some brands call it oxblood, some brands call it burgundy. I like to steer away from the word burgundy personally. Now, this reminds me of the skirt in last month's Peacock's haul, which I'm absolutely in love with. And I do have the same colored top, which I could also twin with this from Peacock. So perhaps if you prefer this skirt, because it is tighter, it's more of a bodycon shuffle skirt, then you could add that top with this instead. Anyway, again, I got it in the UK eight. I think I probably should have got a 10. Uh, but we will soon find out. Now, I didn't mention with the other one, it does actually have a zip at the back and this wrap detail as well at the front, the little gathering here. So yeah, nice details. They're good quality pieces. Is it good? They're good quality pieces as well. And not bad for 18 pounds. Right, we have a pair of trousers. Oh my gosh, I nearly set them alight. <laughs> we have a pair of khaki wide leg cargo trousers. I know I've got a couple of pairs of these, but the ones I have are gathered at the bottom, whereas these are wide all the way down, so I can wear these over. Perfect example, actually, these boots. The material is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's super floppy, very much a non-iron. It's almost like a posh cargo trouser. Um, she's wearing it with a stripy jumper on the website. I think I would, yeah, possibly do that, or I could wear it with this grey cropped jumper. Jumper. These come in 18 pounds. I did get these in an eight, which I think is probably the right size for these because they are kind of slightly oversized. If I stand back, you can see they are wide all the way down to the bottom. And again, the leg length, Asta, you're doing it. You're doing it. That's coming from someone who's five foot four. I think they're a really, really nice pair of trousers though. So yeah, did chuff with those. 18 pounds and I'm wearing them in a UK eight. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> the arms look really long. Um, okay, firstly, this is a faux fur trim cropped denim jacket. Now, I was expecting it to be a thicker denim and maybe more oversized. That's something definitely to consider because I did get this in a UK 10. I don't know if this is something that you really, really love or you look at it and you go, what the hell is that? But anyway, I had to get it to A, try it on and B, show you. Look at these faux fur trims. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I'm actually thinking thinking. Oh, it is. They are removable. Is the collar? Yes, the collar is removable as well. So you've basically got two different denim jackets. One is a very basic light wash denim jacket, cropped of course. Then if you keep the fur on, ooh, you could really zhuzh this up a little bit. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to be styling this with. Could you wear it over maybe a longer jumper? Potentially over that? Could that work? I mean, I'll give it a go. Another perfect item to wear with these boots. Uh, so I don't know, maybe just some skinny jeans, these boots over the top, maybe a slightly longer line jumper. Have you ever seen anything like that? I certainly haven't. And I certainly wasn't expecting to see it on the Asda website either. So yeah, like I said, I'm wearing this in a UK 10. I reckon I could have got a 12 in that. We have another dress. You can totally see why I picked this dress up. This again is brand new in. I just think it has all the features to be a really, really beautiful piece. First, I'm gonna start with the sleeves. If I come in, hopefully you can see. There we go. So you've got cuffs at the wrist, which is going to help balloon this beautiful sheer sleeve out. I don't know if you can see that it's sheer, but it is. This is totally sheer. So you will be able to see your skin through it. All down here is completely lined and you've got a little waist belt as well. I think it's gonna be a good length. It's not going to be too short, which is good for me. And I would absolutely wear this with some 30 denier black tights and some chunky, funky black boots. And then going through into the spring, put some nice little killer heels with it and wear it to a party. I guess this is the thing about dresses. You can just take them through into the colder months and layer up on top, put some tights on, put some chunky boots on, and then go through to the warmer months, stick some pumps on, some little killer heels for a party vibe. Love this colorway as well. I mean, it's just totally, totally me. This comes in at £24. I did get it in the UK 8, but I mean, I'll be telling you on the split screen whether I should have got the 10 or not. Like, such a pretty dress. This, ladies, was the first item I put in my basket for this haul. It says it's white on the website. It's not white. Um, let me find white. That's white. So there is a difference, but it is a very, very light cream, I would say. Beautiful, beautiful color, and it's in a corduroy. So you've got the warmth, you've got the texture, you've got the ribbing. Um, it's just 
such a piece. This is a staple to your autumn wardrobe. You can wear it done up as a piece on its own, or you can wear it open as a shacket. It is considered as a shacket. This would look fab over any of the jeans from earlier on, and potentially underneath that denim jacket that you've just seen, if, if there's space. Again, this is an absolute keeper for me. I think it does come in another color. Yep, it comes in a navy as well, which I'll pop on the screen. Not a bad price either, 20 pounds, which actually is brilliant for a shacket because it does a multitude of things. I love the vibe, I love the corduroy, and as you know, I love a winter white, so I'm very, very happy with that. That is staying in my wardrobe for sure. So there we go, I'm wearing a UK 10, and it was 20 pounds, it also does come in a navy. Right ladies, this is obviously the beginning of party season now because it's all happening. In fact, next week's haul is going to be full of party wear. The following week's haul is going to be full of party wear. So we're really entering party season. I know you probably don't want to think about it, but anyway, this ladies is absolutely stunning. This is down as a black gold foil spotty midi dress. Beautiful, beautiful dress this. I don't know if you can see, but the texture is lots of little dobby spots, but then also the gold foil spots as well. So it has texture. Also, I don't know if you can see, but the arms are sheer as well, so you're gonna see your skin, but you do have a lining underneath. And you've got this gorgeous detailing right from the waist all the way down to the bottom. So it'll add a little bit of movement, a little bit of femininity. I mean, she's wearing it with boots. I mean, yes, of course you could do that. Absolutely, I'm all for that. But quite frankly, I would wear heels with this and I would pick out the gold. So nice gold killer heels. Christmas isn't far away and I know you don't wanna hear about it, but um, what a fabulous fabulous Christmas party dress. 26 pounds as well, wow, what a bargain. I think that's absolutely beautiful. So ladies, that is the last item from this haul, oh my goodness. I've been absolutely blown away like I was last week. It's supermarket clothing. Got some absolute staples for our autumn winter wardrobe in this haul. My favorites, definitely the gilet. 100% the cream faux leather trench coat. The pleated skirt, absolutely lootly. The khaki trousers, yes, yes, yes. This absolutely gorgeous super soft top as well and I think last but not least absolutely the cream shacket so Asda you've knocked it out the park I will link everything down below I am not an affiliate for Georgia Asda so by all means go to your Asda stores and see what they've got in but what I would say is the majority of this is most likely to be just online so ladies there we go two down one to go if you have enjoyed my video please do give me a thumbs up that means the world to me if you have not yet subscribed Subscribe. That would be your early Christmas present to me. Right, ladies, have a fantastic weekend. Have a lovely week, and I will see you on the flip side. Take care. Bye. The leaves are turning brown. I'm still looking for you.